I'm super duper pooper, crazy lazy boss, baby Nate. And you're seeing uh, this video by popular demand. That's right, you asked for it. However, it isn't Disney. Fart poop duty. That's right, my baby warriors. Today we are talking about everything you missed in the movie, The Boss Baby. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Now before we begin, there is a crisis among us. A lot of people are thinking that this is Rex from Toy Story. Ooh. You see, there are several toys in Boss Baby that were also in Toy Story, like the phone, or the two boxing guys, the Etch-A-Sketch, or even the Army Men. All right, men, you hurry. The question is, was it an Easter egg to Toy Story? It's possible these are references, but if you think DreamWorks would put this many Easter eggs in their movie for a Disney movie, then you clearly didn't go to business school. Now enough with the interference, let's talk about the Easter eggs that were actually in the movie. Of course, since Boss Baby was made by DreamWorks, they're obviously going to put an Easter egg to one of their more popular movies. Here we can see a troll. DreamWorks logo is of a little boy sitting on a moon. So naturally, when we're in the boy's imagination, we see the moon. Interesting fact, did you know that the triangle is the strongest shape found in nature? Do you know what else is in the shape of a triangle though? The Illuminati. Illuminati confirmed. Sorry, Easter eggs. On Tim's magical hat wall, one of the hats has the poop emoji on it. If you're a fan of Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Alrighty then. Then you might recognize this poopy joke. Ace Ventura crawled out of the backside of a fake rhino the same way that Tim and Theodore crawled out of that giant and blow up puppy. On the fridge, we see Boss Baby's birth certificate. If you look closely, you will see he was born on August 7th. You know who else was born on August 7th? The main boss of the entire movie. Who's that? That would be the director. That's right, Tom McGrath is also born on August 7th. The lady on the cooking show might love butter just as much as Paula Dean. Is that heaven, kids, or what? <laughs> but she's actually a cameo to the director. That's right, Tom McGrath voiced this lady. <laughs> now here's something you might not have noticed about little Tim though. He was number one in his parents' eyes, yes, but the idea of having a little brother. Baby, what? brother made him fear he was no longer going to be a first place that's why when he's in his imagination we see him with the number two jersey on then when he grows to love his baby brother we see he becomes number one once again this is a great subtle point for the movie so kudos to that however there are several points where they forgot to put in the details to the movie like the number or in some cases they even gave him a pocket on his shirt just because they needed it to help push the story <laughs> now before i say this i should make it crystal clear i actually enjoyed watching the movie that being said a lot of details were overlooked like he shot this meathead in the back then in the very next scene all the darts are in the front not to mention the gun belt just magically disappeared. Or this magical blanket can go through the viewfinder, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Hi, I'm Casper. Or how everything that just appeared on the fridge just disappeared. Well, little Timmy is apparently like most kids. At some point, they're going to color on your walls. See his graffiti in the garage? Tim was here. Let's not forget that the boss baby is apparently a magician. See the briefcase? Now you know. He carries a briefcase. And it's back. Baby Cora has been around since 100,000 BC, but it's decorated 60s theme on purpose. If making babies is their business, the busiest time of the company would be in the baby boomer age. That's why they decorated baby core in 60s themes. Sponsor time. That's right, the people over at DreamWorks have to pay the bills too. <laughs> you probably noticed the Duracell battery. Go to sleep. Or the STP sticker, that's a car oil company. And Elvis apparently preferred Jif peanut butter. The babysitter is a scary cross-dressing version of Mary Poppins. Who's that? She's a babysitter who's practically perfect in every single way. From Disney. That's right, Eugenia's practically perfect in every way. 
Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. Too bad that wagon wasn't practically perfect. Look, the handle's there, then it's gone, then it's in the back of the wagon, then it's under the wagon. The coolest thing about Tim's spy glasses is that they are clearly a three-piece set on the cereal box, but then when he cuts it out, it literally turns into one piece. We can buy a bouncy house! Survey time! If your parents gave you the choice, pick a new baby brother, a baby sister, or a bounce house, what would you pick? Now please don't rip your eyeballs out for this next Easter egg, it's only gonna take a second, I promise. Having Boss Baby in the sun like that is a reference to one of the most annoying TV shows ever, Teletubbies. Now the voice for Boss Baby is Alec Baldwin. He was in an older movie called Glen Gary and Glen Ross, where he gets mad and says, coffee's for closers. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. So naturally they put a baby version of that in the Boss Baby. Put that cookie down. Cookies are for closers. That's not all they got from Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Check out that phone. Whoa, how do you do that? To suck it. You suck it. No, it's for you to suck. Take out your suck it and you'll suck it. Suck it. Yeah. Suck it. Suck it. Yeah. Suck it. In the family room, we see an Atari game system. Everyone Did you notice the Transformers it. Easter egg? Robots in disguise. Power nap, uh, you were saying. Wake up. I hope you saw this one. His alarm clock is Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. He says two famous lines from the movie. He shall not pass! You shall not pass! To fly! Fly, you fools! Fly, you fools! If you thought Boss Baby kind of had the Home Alone vibe, that's because there are a lot of subtle and not so subtle things that we find in both movies. Like the entryway, it's almost the exact same entryway as Kevin's from Home Alone. Baby's even got planters in the same exact spot. Theodore also rides down the stairs and right out the front door, uh, just like Kevin. Also, if you remember, when Kevin's home alone, he sees the bad guy through the Christmas bulb. Well, Boss Baby seemed like the bad guy, at least at this point in the movie, and he was the Christmas ornament, literally. Tim fell down the stairs and landed in the same exact spot that Harry and Marv landed on when they fell. You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. Now the most obvious punchline taken from Home Alone is when the little Timmy put on musk aftershave from a green bottle, naturally with the same results uh, that Kevin had. How do you know all that? Recognize this epic ground slam? There are references to a lot of great stories, like here he is pretending to be Captain Ahab, and obviously that's Moby Dick. And here he's Sherlock Holmes doing some investigation. Here's Humpty Dumpty, and he's reading the book Hansel and Gretel. And here's the book Mr. Magoo. Doot, doot. By the way, Mr. Magoo also has cartoons, not just books. This is getting creepy. I've come for your soul. Now my personal favorite Easter egg is this scene. No, 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 not the chicken flashlight. Though that could be a reference to Chicken Run. No, 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 I'm talking about the file swap scene. It's the same scene recreated from Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. They even have the rolling ball as part of the little trigger. All the way to the very end of the movie, we are still getting a little Easter eggs. The newest Boss Baby Lady was born on 3-31-2017. You guessed it, that's when Boss Baby the movie was born. <gasps> now there are a lot of stuff in this movie that didn't quite make any sense. Like the fire truck blew up, but then later on, here we are, and the kids have a brand new fire truck. So what in the world are we supposed to see as real, and what is just Tim's crazy imagination? Whoops, too far. The answer to that is everything. Everything is part of Tim's imagination. He's playing out the entire movie in his bedroom. The only real part is that he eventually did have a brother at the end. The second time the brother showed up, not the first time. The baby's friends aren't even real. Look closer in the room and you will see every piece of the story was in the bedroom. The fire truck and the three babies, the taxi, yeah! 
the police car, the farm slash company that his parents work for, the airplane, the mousetrap, the wizard, obviously, a Las Vegas sign, the giant dog they crawl out of, the rocket ship, the hamster pipes, the pirate ship. So he obviously woke up the morning after his parents' news of a baby brother and played the entire movie in his room. Then reality starts again when his new baby brother comes home the second time. Everything else was just in his head. Thanks for watching, Ginger Jones. I hope this video was entertaining for you. If it was, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more crazy videos just like this. And I hid five hidden Easter eggs in this video. What? You didn't see them? Go back, rewatch, try to find them, leave a comment below where they are, and include hashtag Boss Baby for your chance to win a free Boss Baby movie and a Share a Smile shirt. And remember, Share a Smile, they are contagious. Hey, Share a Smile. They're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.